Oh, hey! What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're making the Margarita Negra, also known as the Coffee Margarita. Also, also known as the, hmm, two of the best things in the world united for the pleasure of your taste buds. That's the way I call it. And to do it, I've teamed up with Mr. Black Cold Brew Coffee Liquor. I told you we're mixing two of the best things in the world so that deserves the best ingredient, especially when it's the main component of your cocktail. So this couldn't be a better fit, I couldn't be happier. So if you guys are ready, go grab your shaker, your bottle of Mr. Black and let's make that delicious cocktail together right now. I am ecstatic about having finally my bottle of Mr. Black. I heard so many great things about it on Facebook groups, Instagram, and other YouTube channels, but on the market where I was before, it was not available. But now that we're in France, it's different, and here I am, a happy man with my bottles of Mr. Black. I feel like Mr. Black doesn't really need no introductions anymore because it legit took over the world of coffee liqueurs by storm. It is now considered the standard coffee liqueur in some of the world's best bars and restaurants. We love it, but in case you haven't heard of it yet or are still not familiar with this exquisite liquid, let me just tell you a few things about it and how I feel about it. One of the key factors why Mr. Black is so good is the fact that they are both coffee roasters and distillers. That way they have full control on what's going to end up in the bottle and they select only the best ingredients. For example, the coffee, it all comes from 100% hand-picked fair trade Arabica coffee, nothing else, no fake flavor. So no wonder it is so good. Also, this is made out of cold brew coffee. Maybe I extrapolate a little bit, I don't know, but for me, cold brew stays fresh longer than espresso, and that's probably the reason why we always see cold brew concentrates and we don't see espresso concentrates. So for me, that's another reason why Mr. Black is so tasty. And lastly, for me, what separates Mr. Black from the competition is its sweetness. It is very lightly sweetened, and I love that, especially for cocktails, because you can always add sugar afterward if it's too dry, but you can do the other way around. So I love it, I highly recommend it recommend it and if you want to give it a try there's a link in my description and if you use my promo code at checkout you will get ten dollars off your purchase now let's make the cocktail the margarita negra for the ingredients you're gonna need mr black blanco tequila agave syrup and lime so first we're gonna rim our glass so we're gonna cut a lime in two and we're gonna wet the outside of our glass we're gonna dip the glass in the salt, but only on the outside, because I don't want salt inside my glass. And I'm doing a full rim here because I really like it, but obviously you can do half a rim. That's also great if you wanna have the option to adding the salt or no when you sip on your cocktail. So we have a beautiful salted rim. We're gonna set that aside. And then in our cocktail shaker, we're gonna pour one ounce or 30 mils of Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur. To that, we're gonna add one full ounce or 30 mils of Blanco tequila. Half an ounce or 15 mils of agave syrup. And one ounce or 30 mils of freshly squeezed wine juice and we're gonna fill the shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds then we're gonna fill our glass with fresh ice fine strain the cocktail And then we're gonna garnish it with a lime wheel. And there you have it, the Margarita Negra. Cheers. <laughs> mm. This is a fantastic cocktail. First, we get that beautiful, bold, rich, roasted coffee flavor up front that's perfectly balanced by the exact right amount of acidity from the lime. Then, when all those bold flavors are fading out a little bit, we get those agave notes that are coming through, and it really shows that it's the perfect foundation for this cocktail. It's probably due to the fact that agave are roasted and cooked to make the tequila, and even though we don't get those burnt or roasted flavors, 
that we get in the coffee, tequila and coffee really go hand in hand and it makes great cocktails. Now we may not be used to coffee and acidity together like we are with tea and lemon iced tea for example, which I'm a huge fan of, but here it works so well, I really want to give a shot at just coffee, lemon and sugar shaken served over ice in the afternoon instead of having a lemon iced tea. I think it's going to be fantastic. Plus you see we get that beautiful crema style foam on top of the cocktail that gives some beautiful texture. So this cocktail checks all the boxes for the perfect drink. So thank you very much Mr. Black for sponsoring this episode and guys at home if you want to replicate this drink don't forget to visit their website and use our promo code for $10 off on your bottle. If you are into coffee and cocktails you will not regret this I guarantee. So my friends this is it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Turn that notification bell on if you want to make sure not to miss the next video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers.